In order to download the Tiny Core Linux, you need to type in Tiny Core Linux in your search bar or your search engine. I am choosing a Google search engine, so this is the first link which is a Tiny Core Linux.net. You can directly type in the this URL or a URL in your search bar. It's going to take you directly to their website. This is the uh, 14 point version, latest version with the uh, kernel 6.1.2 and uh, updated to 2.36 GCC. GCC updated to 12.2.0 and glibc updated to 2.36 or 36 you can call it and here are some few info if you want to read it you can read it click on downloads and here is the edition available the core one which is 17 GMB and the tiny core one is 23 MB and core plus is 248 MB I am choosing core plus which is a 248 MB here is the descriptions of uh, what they provide in that uh, ISO file you want to read it you can read it always read it and uh, download it so it's better to read the info and here are the release notes uh, you can go through that and here is the download option and the file size and the you need to read this because before downloading anything it's going to say core plus so you choose core plus you should be same and download that's it for the download so let me take you to my channel this part is only for the viewers who want to watch my content without uh, subscribing uh, people who already subscribed no need to worry uh, I'm not going to force you to subscribe it's uh, clearly up to you I respect your opinion if you want to subscribe you can if you don't want it's clearly up to you just type in 9 to 5 Linux in the search bar of your web browser of your any devices like a TV mobile or a tab uh, if you're using a YouTube app in the mobile TV or the tab you just need to type in 9 to 5 Linux if you only type in this full URL if you are using a web browser uh, if you are using it, uh, a YouTube app, just type it in 9 to 5 Linux. That's going to take directly to my channel. Click on enter. And here is my channel. Uh, if you are here only for the Linux content, just go to the playlist and uh, search for Linux here. That should be available right here. And under Linux, go to view full playlist. And the videos will be available here. I made like a 1550 videos. I covered every different type of Linux distros and various types of Linux distros there. If you want, play all or shuffle, do anything you want, it's clearly up to you. Uh, you can either directly search the favorite uh, Linux distro of your own or uh, the favorite search term like uh, MX Linux for example. I am going to be having the latest videos here, so the latest videos will be popped up right here. Uh, there is no like uh, alpha version beta version I'm going to make every type of videos there I'm going to make a alpha version beta version or a development version uh, because I'm going to make a content as soon as the ISO file are uh, released so you don't need to be waiting or uh, uh, going to other channels uh, if you want you can go and check it out other channels I don't have any problem and the, I'm, I'm going to say that uh, I am going to be releasing the latest releases here uh, of the content uh, as soon as the ISO file is released so that's what I am trying to say here and I post two videos daily so without missing any day I am posting like that uh, for almost uh, five to six years this is the timing you need to visit at this timing the videos will be available before the time uh, because I am going to put it in a premiere so you will be having an idea of uh, what the content should be available that day and here is the community I am going to give you the latest distribution news and latest package news uh, you need to keep an eye on it so I already made another video which is the endless OS 5.0.2 uh, today you can watch it with the tiny core Linux uh, after watching tiny core Linux today we are making a video on tiny core Linux 14 this is the latest video version of the tiny core Linux 14 and uh, this is the boot menu of the tiny core linux there are a lot of options available for the tiny core linux you can choose your uh, all the window managers here i am going with the boot core plus with the default flwm top side let's click enter it's going to take a few seconds 
and i forgot to mention that i am using a, a virtual machine which is a vmware with 40 gb of hard disk and 4 gb of ram and with two processors so it doesn't uh, even uh, you don't need to even have a high end pc or a mid end pc for this linux distro because it's a lightweight and the core plus edition uh, version uh, file size or the iso file size is around 250 mb and the this uh, tiny core uh, middle on the middle iso is almost like a 23 mb like that i'm going to show you in a few seconds or a few minutes here is our desktop layout which loaded pretty much fast almost took like a 15 seconds that's it and here are the options available uh, for the tiny core linux let's open the apps this is a true lightweight or a featherweight linux distro you can call it fast on would you like to like the system to pick the fastest mirror click on yes let's click on yes these are all the available apps uh, in the tiny core linux 14 just a basic uh, info here let's open the control panel here are some uh, apps or the settings you can do let's open the wallpaper you don't get a image wallpaper you need to choose like a solid colors or a colors you pick here turn and here is your wallpaper change the basic or a common thing will be the logo will be here and the background will be changed every time as you choose or a change a color i'm going to choose the another color and click on done and it's going to change the color of the background but the logo don't change it's going to be same as the uh, regular thing this is the logo of the tiny core linux which is a tiny mini micro and here is the backup or restore date and time network tc wbar config mount tool mouse tool system stats services swap file tool terminal server and xvsa Here are the info. Let's uh, open the system stats. Here is the system stats. Uh, CPU. If you want, you can uh, see the usage here. Memory. Net. Modules. Processing or processors. D message. Mounts. File system. Boot installed and big home files these are the system stats let's close this thing let's close this thing it is in closing so here is our mirror picker let's click on ok and we should be having our applications here i guess Browse, select mirror, select fast mirror, load app locally, maintenance, installation, quit. On boot, on demand, download plus load, download only. Let's click on set. And these are the regular applications. You can go through this all these things by typing the URL mouse tool uh, backup and restore date and time network tcw bar config let's close this thing i already showed the mouse tool so this is a mount tool I showed the system stats, wallpaper, and here are the services, swap file, terminal server, and xvsa. Here is the resolution if you want you can choose it. I am good with the resolution uh, uh, as the default one. So let's uh, close this thing and these are the available settings, apps, all these things. And uh, 
here are some important things like a uh, editor apps run program and the terminal you can browse choose anything you want this is a text editor let's type in youtube.com colon slash 9 to file linux which is my uh, channel url which will directly take to you uh, to my channel uh, you can just type it in 9 to file linux in the youtube app which will uh, open my channel so i don't want to save let's close this thing let's type in few commands like uh, inxi if it's available let's type in cat colon slash etc issue for Linux, let's type in uname-a for the kernel version, which is 6.1.2. In clear, let's type in uname-r, and this is the tiny core. Let's uh, exit this thing, and uh, let's click on reboot and click OK. Let's choose another uh, window manager. We choose the first window manager. With Joyce, we chose the FLWM top side, and this is the Joyce window manager. It's going to take like a 10 or 15 seconds. It's a featherweight. You should be having uh, the tiny core Linux 14.0 soon. I'm just going to quickly. Uh, try to I'll try to open the almost a few window manager so you will have an idea of uh, what it looks uh, while uh, using this so it should take like a 15 to 20 seconds maximum core is distributed with the absolute no warranty that's the website and you will have the a panel or a taskbar upside here and again the same things available and you will be having like this the style will be changed but the apps will be similar exit options again reboot click on ok the app should be completely same and uh, completely same in every window manager but the style will be changed that's what i'm trying to explain here with the ice window manager let's open the ice window manager too uh, some people want to know how the window manager different types of window manager look so i'm going to uh, show them that uh, just wait for a few seconds again like a 15 to 20 seconds it doesn't depend on your uh, pc because it's a lightweight so it's going to take same seconds uh, as mine maybe of uh, 2 2 to 5 seconds extra or maybe think like a 10 seconds extra and here is our another window manager as you can see we have a desktop memory is uh, here and the cpu is here and the style also almost uh, similar And the available apps also are similar nothing changed let's uh, exist exit options reboot let's move this thing uh, reboot and click on ok and let's open the another window manager this was the ice uh, window manager let's choose the fluxbox window manager again it's going to take like a few more seconds and we will be having our desktop layout in a few seconds the file size or a iso file size of this uh, tiny core linux is a 250 mb uh, this is a plus edition uh, just the core edition or the middle edition available will be like a, a 23 MB of a file size 
and the basic uh, uh, they also have the basic version which is uh, lower in mb and this is the another style again same options but uh, but the window managers are different click on reboot this was the flux box i think they should be having like a 12 uh, window managers i guess let's check it in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and the 13th one these are the few other options Let's uh, lastly check the hacked box window manager and uh, end the video because it's going to take a lot of time and it's always the same apps, uh, nothing change, just the window manager st style changes. Uh, that's it, nothing will be changed. So it's a waste of time opening every window manager. I opened almost like a six to seven window manager, so that's it. We want. Again, it's going to take a few more seconds to load up the desktop uh, with the same apps. All the things are same, but the style of the desktop will be changed. As you can see, uh, just a few more seconds for the desktop. Again, we have our desktop here. The theme changed for the application menu here. As you can see, everything is same. Nothing is uh, changed apps all changed so i think that's it for the video i'm going to end the video again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good it helps me make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out click on ok it's going to shut it down